What is up YouTube? Welcome to the video if you are new to the channel. My name is Dylan Reed. I'm the founder of the FBA Elite Academy where we help people to build businesses selling products on Amazon. So I'm not driving by the way. I, I am a passenger today. So I thought I'd throw up a quick vlog video because I'm answering some student emails and I, I keep seeing sort of a reoccurring question guys, right? Reoccurring over and over and over again and I want to give you guys a little bit of information on it because it's going to save you money when placing your orders. Now when we're importing, which the majority of the time when you are selling on Amazon, we are going to be importing products from China, right? Sometimes if you're fortunate enough to be selling, I don't know, supplements or products that consumables that you can uh, source in the UK, then great. But if not, then we do have to import. Now, when we import, we... Shut up, Siri. When we import, uh, we incur charges, right? So we obviously have VAT and duty charges, but mainly shipping is an additional fee that's added on to your um, to the cost of your units, right? And we call this, inclusive of shipping, the landed cost. So the landed cost is the cost of the products, VAT, duty, and also the cost of the shipping. Now, just to focus on shipping for this one, guys, right? And I always like to be super clear with this to make sure people know exactly what I'm talking about, which turns this Siri down, she's really annoying me. So basically, you have different options when you want to have your product ship. But for me, especially if you're a beginner, you want to keep it as simple as possible, right? We don't want to overcomplicate things. So the main two shipping methods that you will probably have heard or the phrases, the abbreviations are DDU and DDP. Now, I don't want to make this boring for you guys. I know, so just think about it as saving loads of cash, right? So we've got DDU, which is delivery duty unpaid, and we have DDP, which is delivery duty paid. Now, the only difference between the two is with DDP, it means that the supplier has uh, pre-charged you the, the the import VAT and duty costs in your invoice, right? Uh, whereas with DDU, they don't pay the v import VAT and the duty, but you have to pay that when they come through customs. You're either contacted by customs uh, before they're released, or you'll be contacted by you know TNT or, or UPS, whoever you've opted to use, right? So both put the onus to get the products to the FBA center or to your home on the supplier, right? So that's the beauty of those two methods, DDU and DDP. It means that you have no obligation and no responsibility for that shipment, right? Whereas with other methods like freight on board, um, you have an obligation and a responsibility to actually intercept the goods. It puts much more responsibility on you as a seller where you actually have to um, acquire the goods and organize them to be shipped into an FBA center. Now, we obviously want to minimize uh, any involvement in this process because it's not simple. So I usually like to opt for air freight, DDP or DDU. If you do opt for DDP, um, make sure that it's very clear and specified on your commercial invoice that they have actually paid the taxes and the duty and you don't get a shock, shock surprise when um, they come through customs and you get uh, a call that says, hey, you owe that VAT and duty and you say, wait, wait a minute, I paid I paid DDP. So make sure it's all on the invoice and it's clear and that they understand, that your supplier understands exactly what, I've got a lot of hand, a lot of hand gesturing going on here, you guys can't see, probably a good thing. Um, so yeah, DDP or DDU, but you also have the option of shipping via, um, sh well obviously shipping via air, but also actually by sea. Now. Usually for a first order, we go air, you're in a rush, you want to get them up, launched, and, and you want to get selling quickly. But when you've got more time and you can actually strategize a little bit more, you can split your order up, right? Uh, placed orders with 500 units, 600, 700 units, where you don't need them all at once. So you can split it, you know, 40% air, 60% sea. Um, and that will mean that you will save on the shipping cost, right, per unit, because it's a lot cheaper. And when I say a lot, I mean, a lot cheaper to get them you know sent over in a um on a boat in a boat on a boat so there's always a lot of confusion around the, the, that guys and what what's the best option suppliers 
and notoriously are not great at explaining the difference between these options personally right and you know within the academy i advise lots of different things and you know recommend various options depending on the situation but i use ddu because uh, the supplier is not always as um, honest as they can be. They're not, they, they're not always going to uh, necessarily pay the correct VAT amount or duty. And if they don't, and it comes through customs, and then they contact you, the supplier will just be like, well, whoa, 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 I don't understand, blah, 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 blah. Whereas if they declare the amount of the goods, literally with DDU, they come through, you get a phone call, this is the amount you owe, it's 20%. Plus the whatever the duty rate is for your goods, which falls into you know whatever category. But the key is keeping it low. So those are the options, guys. But you can use a freight forwarder, and many of the many of the manufacturers that you use are using freight forwarders, right, to get the goods over. So explore your own shipping methods, right. If think of, think about it from from a manufacturer's point of view, they they're looking to make money, right? Not just on the product, but if on the shipping, if possible. So if they can make a little bit of money from you from the shipping, they will. Obviously, they want to. They want to make. You know, they want to make cash. So if you explore the options, and I'll put a link below, guys. Freight DOS is a. It's sort of like the go compare. The go compare of um, of the shipping world where or the freight forwarder world so it will it will compare a lot of options for Amazon sellers and tell you based on the you know the unit size and the weight of your container how much it will cost to get it shipped from A to B and you know you might save it might be half the amount it might be 30% off which is all going to help when you're trying to increase your margin on that product or your ROI because again shipping like I said guys can be uh, it can be expensive right shipping is expensive especially if you're placing a large order now those aren't the only three shipping methods there are more but again I th those are the ones that I focus on mainly and again DDU and DDP typically the ones that uh, that I opt for but make sure that you explore three points main key points explore your own options with a freight forwarder and compare the price secondly ensure that if you do use ddp that it's clearly stipulated on the invoice the amount of vat and duty that's been paid and make sure that you've checked out that it's the right amount yeah so if your first shipment a thousand pounds and the vat on it is showing us that, that they've paid 30 pounds something is wrong because you know that is not the right percentage it should be 20 percent, so it should be 200 pounds so you'd have a call saying where's the other 170 so just be careful guys i'm not saying saying suppliers are all um dodgy daves but they are some suppliers are their English can be poor. Their communication they can lack in in, in terms of how um, you know how frequently they'll communicate with you and how well they communicate. So make sure that you're prepared and you've got everything you know outlined and you know exactly what's going on. And any questions on that, guys, drop it below. Um, I'm actually headed to Liverpool today. It's Friday. We're going up here for the weekend to visit some family. I'm currently doing some student emails for the academy. Some exciting products being launched up to um, the end of Q4 now at Christmas, and then. Obviously, we've got 2020, which is going to be huge for for FBA. But I hope everyone is is doing well. Any questions, guys? Drop them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to the video as always. Appreciate it, guys, and um, have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one.